Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jimmy Wei. Welcome to my channel again. I want to show you something. Let's just listen to it. Super quiet. Super quiet right now. Uh, because of the coronavirus. So everybody stay at home and uh, yeah, most people freak out. But yesterday we just get another news from the uh, New Zealand Prime Minister. So the lockdown will continue for probably another at least three weeks before I before we can go back to work. Yeah, the good thing is so the situation in New Zealand is getting better. So hopefully, hopefully everything will be become normal again soon. Yeah, as you can see, I'm sitting in my RX7 right now. So a few days ago, I re finally received the basket from the Japan and already mounted on the steering wheel so an already 350mm deep corn I already mounted the HKB basket on the steering wheel already yeah so today I'm gonna put this on see how it's gonna look like on my car and the reason why I wanted to change the steering wheel is First thing is because of the look of the OEM steering wheel on the 1998 RX-7 I cannot say it's bad looking but uh, actually I quite like the traditional 4 spoke steering wheel But the problem is, so on this car, so you guys probably know the RX-7 is a very tight interior So you can see how big the steering wheel is so it's almost like a truck steering wheel, right? So if you you can see, I'm I'm around 178 height, and uh, every time I brake, I will hit the bottom of the steering steering wheel. So it's too big for me. So the OEM steering wheel is made by Momo, and it's actually pretty good quality. So it feels pretty good, just a slightly big. Because this one is around 380 millimeter, so the steering wheel I'm changing, so the Nardi one is 350 millimeter deep corn. So, so I can move back a little bit, and uh, and still have a pretty good reach. So I think that will be a better solution for me. And OEM steering wheel comes with an airbag, and some people some people said so don't change your airbag steering wheel to a aftermarket one yeah because you're taking a risk what I would say is so so this one is a very controversial but you have to decide by yourself and you have to be responsible for what what you want to do so because every time when you drive so no, no matter if your car comes with an airbag or non-airbag you have to drive very careful and watch out everything on the road and don't make stupid decision so you can't say so because my car has an airbag so I don't have to drive very carefully yeah <laughs> so this is stupid but anyways so be positive and do what you like but be responsible for what you've done and also for some of some of you guys probably don't know so for the car come with a OEM airbag on the driver's side or passenger side So if you change to the aftermarket steering wheel, so you might have I think you have to Change the seat belt Yeah, because the factory seat belt in the airbag car, so it's designed to uh, There's a loop. There's a loop in the end of the seat belt and when accident happened so actually the seat belt will become longer and it's designed to make you make your body slightly forward a little bit and to hit the airbag. So that's to prevent the how can it it's help you to dis decelerate. So in order to make you safer in the car after changing the aftermarket steering wheel, so the first thing you have to do is I would say that yeah, that's another personal choice, but uh I would highly recommend so never buy the fake steering wheel or replica steering wheel. 
Yeah, and also in New Zealand. So there's a regulation for modified vehicles. So if you change the steering wheel in an airbag quick car, so you have to change your seatbelt to the wet clamp seatbelt. So that's another, it's quite different with the traditional seatbelt uh, in an airbag car. So for example, if the accident happens, so it doesn't, doesn't become longer so it will hold you on the seat so that, 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 that's only you change the aftermarket steering wheel so it's required by the law so if you want to make your car uh, road legal so you have to do that so I highly recommend you guys to do some research before you you want to change the aftermarket steering wheel all right so let's start it let's get started to remove the OEM semi-truck steering wheel on the RX-7 let's do it thing you're gonna do is so no matter what you do whatever you do with the car involving the electricity system so you have to disconnect the battery and just skip some brake horn make sure the electricity is gone so then you can start to remove the steering wheel right now. And on my 1998 R7, so there's a two cover, one here, one on the other side. So you got to, got to remove the cover first. Then you can see the bolts. Another one. Oh. So it's a 10 millimeter bolt. You can just remove the two bolt and the the airbag can come up. And once you remove the two bolts, and you can you can easily pull the airbag assembly out. And just be careful. There's a yeah, one socket, two socket behind it. Just need to uh, remove the socket. So one is for the horn, another one is for the airbag. So as you can see, this one for airbag, this one more for horn. So just remove the two plugs. Yeah, here we go, the airbag out. Just put the airbag in the safer place. All right. Then you can see the center bolt. Uh, center nuts so you just need to remove it but i i assume this steering wheel is really hard to remove so yeah because it's a fractured one so it must be really tight so it's not the bolt not not the nuts but the the actual actual axle so let's see how it goes because i have some tools here so i have a uh, so this one's a pulley, pulley puller. So it's like a maybe we we'll use on the steering wheel as well. So I just chuck it somewhere and uh, see how it goes. Okay. So it's ab absolutely tight and driving nuts. So I have to use a longer torque wrench to remove. Just for the shorter one, it's nearly impossible to make it move. So let's do it. Easy to film while doing this. Uh, here we go. All right, I put my phone down a little bit. Yeah, that's too tight. That's very tight. Yeah, finally lose it. Sorry, spread some. WD-40 and let it soak for a few minutes. So, mm -hmm. Let's spray some more lubricant uh, in the axle area. Okay. So I decide to remove the the steering steering wheel frame. So I can easier to to 
put this on to remove the, the actual uh, steering hub so because right now I don't have too many access for this thing so it's coming off now frame of the car now let's see what's the best position to check this I think I'm gonna go with this so one here one there I think that will be easier yeah. so this seems pretty straightforward so we just need to put this thing on the hole Carefully, yeah, make sure, make sure the it's attached. Make sure it's safe, and you can spin it, and it should be gone. Okay, let's work on it. Alright, let's see what's gonna happen. Tighter. Let's check one more time. Straight. Come on, come on. Yep. Did you hit it? Yeah, it's coming off. Second. Let's come over now. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, is there a crack? Holy shit. Hey guys, I just want to tell you good news. So I just break the OEM stirring up <laughs> oh that's funny come on master i'm sorry well, let's see let's see how it goes i'm gonna if it break i'm gonna, I'm gonna break it but it's still a trouble yeah if i cannot remove this yeah let's do it yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna change another angle so before here totally broken Let's try to make the damage as less as possible. Now I really wish I have a uh, proper tools so I can use the screw, the proper steering wheel remover. So, but anyways, I hope it will work. Because I'm not planning to use the factory steering wheel anymore, so it doesn't matter really much if I broke it. So here I recommend you guys to to cover it a little bit to protect yourself because you don't want this to suddenly come off to hit your face right now so okay i will stop filming and try to remove this and i'll show you her. look at this guys yeah I break this piece so my oem steering wheel is finally dead The good thing is I can access to this point. Yeah, lucky. Lucky they have this point edge right here for you to use the puller to put this thing out right properly. But I don't really like this right now. Okay, anyways, we have to fix what's wrong. Okay, let's keep working on it. All right, all right, guys. I just broke another piece. Oh, we're getting there right now. Holy, holy shit, this is hot. Okay. So what do you think, guys? So is this the hardest steering wheel to remove on the car? Alright, guys. Let's see what I have right now. 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw some hole, hole around here and try to get this aluminum piece out. So before I can affix to the the edge of the is this called the washer or something. All right, so this is really pain in the ass, but we'll get it done. Nice. Right, don't be afraid. I'm using the every possible way trying to get this off the steering shaft. Oh my god, really hot. Guys, I must tell you, okay, a smaller one. So this is the most ridiculous glass I ever thought. Shit. God dang. Holy fucking shit. You know I spent fucking three hours on that piece. I cut, I grind, I drill, drill a lot of holes. Finally, this buster is here, but I need to remove it. <laughs> Hopefully it will work because uh, the puller is right there, so the force on it will be distributed more equally, so it will be, maybe it will be easier to remove. All right, let's take a break and do it. Guys, I've been working so hard. Finally, oh my god, you can see how bad it is. I broke another one angle. Because I actually only have three, three chains. So if I break all the angle, all the edges, so it's really hard to remove. Man. Alright, let's clean this up and get some lubricant. As you can see, probably. Probably because of tiny rust, surface rust, it make it a little bit seized, so that's why it's really hard to remove. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean the rust and put some anti seeds compound in the, before I put the new steering wheel on. Alright, we're nearly there, so it's probably another half an hour, and we can finally throw this faster away. God damn it. Yeah, this one here is a copper anti-seize compound. So you just need to Yeah, just put a little bit on it. So the next time it will not seize again. on the thread and also as you can see I like to make sure the steering wheel is straight so before I put the nuts off do you see the little tap here so here's a little tap so I tap here to make sure the, the location where I put the steering wheel is straight so you can see the arrow here and, and I almost forgot, so another thing you need to do before you put a steering wheel back on so is to connect the horn wire and the resistor for the airbag so it's very easy, so it's pretty much the plug-in, straight plug-in so this one's for air, uh, the horn button so we just need to connect the wire put the wires on and because the boss kit I bought is uh, specialized for the RX-7, comes with the driver's side airbag, so it comes with a resistor, so you don't have to do any DIY work, so it'll be much easier, it'll be much easier for you to do it, alright? Yeah, so finally I can put this Nardi wheels on, it's been a long day, yeah, just need to make sure the the string shaft is straight and uh, for the wire, connect the horn button and hide everything inside uh, the cover, but then it's good to go. 
best moment. Oh, right. The steering wheel, the steering wheel is locked, but it's good, so I can tie it by one hand. One hand. Don't make it too tight. I think it's pretty much it. Let's get my keys. How was it? Here we go. Another thing I didn't do, before you put everything back on, make sure the... Just have a quick check, because I connect my battery still. See the airbag light issue. Yep. So the airbag light is on and off. So right now it's perfect. And the horn button. Yeah, yeah, working. So we just need to install the horn button. Because right now the the naughty horn button is not that easy to install to be honest. Because it's better to install the this side first. I need to use the key to get the spring inside, then push. Let's check out this finished product. Everything done. It's really good, even with a stock seat. So the sitting position, you can actually sitting. Let me check. So right now I can still feel really comfortable with the pedals. It's really comfortable because I can see everything, and uh, there's a lot of clearance here. Man, this thing is good. I can't wait to drive it. <laughs> but we need to wait for a while until the lockdown finish. And also I need to make this car fully roll legal before I back on a roll again. All right, let's have a quick look from outside. Man, it's really good, eh? What about from the passenger side? Look at this. And also for this 315mm deep corn, so I can still not too bad for the indicators and the the, re the wipers. So I think uh, it's pretty good size and also the reach, so it's around 50. Yeah, I think that's perfect steering wheel for the RX-7. Yeah, so what do you guys think? And today also, because of my car, actually my car is on the check, or a full check, to check on my car because uh, I don't want a tire to change the shape. And today, because the car has been sitting here for more than, I think, 70, 16, 70 days, so I'm about to warm out the car and let it roll the rear wheel spin a little bit maybe to, to lubricate the rear diff and wheel bearing so I don't want to get anything seized let's check out the how many pieces I cut from the I don't know it's flying everywhere so that's all the OEM steering hub so it's all Everywhere, yeah. yeah. First time start with the Nardi steering wheel in the car. Yeah, let's get a, hopefully it will start right. I don't know if the battery is still working.
motorbike light is not on. Maybe later on for another few minutes before I move the car in the gear. Alright, let's shift in gear. Thanks for watching. So that's pretty much everything today. So if you like the video, as I said, don't forget to subscribe because uh, more and more interesting stuff will coming soon. And uh, right, I'm gonna go home, get some dinner. All right, see you guys later.